free applications for 2010. This is a video to recommend some applications that you might find useful. First of all, system information. If you need to know what CPU you have, you could use CPU Z. And I'm gonna load it here just to demonstrate. it shows you what processor and the cache mainboard memory size and type and latency even SPD information about every stick of memory you have you see and even graphics this is version 152 there could be a newer version by the time you see this who knows also you can use CPU ID HW monitor that shows you temperatures in this case it, it doesn't recognize the Pentium 4 temperatures but it does show the GPU temperature and the hard drive so, you could use also SpeedFan for that, which, if I remember correctly, does show Yes, it does show the CPU temperature and motherboard temperature, GPU ambient even fan inf information that this is the CPU fan this is the case fan it doesn't show the video card fan very well and all sorts of other stuff here also read temps this is a good part it doesn't support a good program for quad core CPUs and dual core CPUs Prime 95 is a stressed, stress uh, test if you want to check that your computer is hardware is working fine you can leave this for a few hours or more to see if it, it doesn't crash or it doesn't, doesn't give you errors I'm gonna run it now you just go uh, torture test and tell it what kind of test you want Xfire is a good uh, program for instant messaging and in and information about games. It's like a, it, it can also use AOL and mess MSN Messenger, Windows Live Messenger, if you want to, but it doesn't support video for those. It, it can record videos in games and it can do voice chat and it supports a lot of cool stuff. You really, if you are into games it, this is the program to use. 7-Zip it's a free application to open compressed files including zip and raw and more. Antivirus I started recently using Microsoft Security Essentials just to check it out and I found it to be pretty good it, it has anti-spyware as well and antivirus before that I was using Avast which is also very recommended and but for now I use Security Essentials Firefox is also always good to have in case you live under a rock Ventrilo is a good, it's a good voice chat for if you want to talk while playing many games and it it uses low latency and not not a lot of memory. It's very good. VLC media player. It can probably open any media file that you can store at it. Here already there's an update. This is version one four one. 
FileZilla it's a good FTP program and Cam Studio this is the program I use to record this video you see you can tell it how you want to record and what resolution or with all screen it's very good so if you have more programs you think I should have mentioned or anything you can always leave it in, leave it in the comments or whatever I'm also gonna make a web page with download links to all these programs that you can easily find and and maybe next year we'll do another video like this so take care